Hey guys, so my name is Lauren with the Backyard Farm. It's been maybe a week or two since I've made a garden tour update, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that today. So I pulled out my zucchini plants. I don't know what happened. They were producing and then just like they looked beautiful and then the next day they looked awful and were like literally laid over completely. It looks like a large animal laid on them. I don't know. So I pulled them out and the chickens have been eating their leaves. I'm going to start over here today. These are my purple potted yard long beans that I planted from seed. They're doing really good. They're getting nice and tall. And I'm going to have them crawl up the chick or climb up the chicken run here. These are my Jing orange okra. You can see that they're starting to produce. I've gotten ooh, a bug. <laughs> a bug just hit me in the face. You can see that they're starting to produce. There's one right here. They're actually like a red color. They're not really orange. So I'm not sure why that is, but they're very pretty either way. There's a beautiful flower that's open. Um, okra is actually in the hibiscus family, so they just have gorgeous flowers. So they all have pods on them right now. There's one here, here on this one. Okay, so this is a um, violet sparkle pepper. I've got my first pepper on here. Very exciting. This one, I'm not sure if it's violet sparkle or a ghost pepper. I'm pretty sure it's a ghost pepper. And it's had open flower buds on it, so we should be getting pepper soon. It's a little late, but I did plant some sunflowers in a couple of these blocks here. These are zinnias, more ghost peppers, and another violet sparkle pep sweet pepper over there. Is in this bed I have white crookneck, Illinois squash growing, and seminal pumpkins. And these vines have gotten huge. They are going way out into my guard into my yard which is fine and I'm really excited because I've actually got my first um, fruit starting which I'll show you getting too close because there is has been um, a couple of snakes that I've seen in this area I think there may be a nest in here <laughs> but I'm just gonna pull it aside with this bamboo stick to show you there's a seminal pumpkin right there and then right next to it, down here, that's a white crookneck squash. And there's also another white crookneck that was pollinated over in there. Not sure if you can see that. But these are just doing awesome. They've had loads of flowers open every day. Really healthy looking for this time of year in Southwest Florida. Cattle panel here. I have family uh, Mitchell family cow peas. They're a vining cow pea, and they're getting pretty big. I believe the last time that I did a video, maybe two weeks ago, these were tiny little sprouts, or possibly not even here yet. So they're doing great. Oh, I see a little bit of aphids here. So you can buy ladybugs to eat your aphids, or you can spray with neem oil. But this doesn't really surprise me because um, it's just really hot here. This is the time of year we have issues with that. So here's some green, purple and green beans that I have, bush beans, um, in these blocks all around. And they're setting lots of flowers. Grass, it's getting really big and full. A neo plant, a purple prince, and it actually broke at the base but I just tilted it up and staked it and it's actually putting off more buds you can see 
so and it's been flowering a lot so it's definitely still going which is great this is a cherry tomato variety which is one of the best varieties you can grow um it's not a variety but a kind of tomato cherry tomatoes they're the best to grow in this hot weather here in the summer in florida Okay, so these are my jalapenos, and they are loaded with peppers. I mean, I just stick my hand under here, and you can just see they're just everywhere, which is really awesome. I had no idea how productive these plants were. I've only fed these with um, a fish emulsion fertilizer one time. It's actually time to do it again. I'm probably going to do it next week when my husband can come home and help me with it. But these are just beautiful. So you can um, harvest jalapenos really at any size. Um, but once you start seeing them form little tiny white bumps or white cracks, they're at a prime time to pick. And you can actually leave them and they'll turn red at their latest um, stage. Here is a polar bear zinnia. And these are my sweet potatoes. They're just taking off. I've been having to um, just try to wind them around to keep them in the bed, but they're just getting massive. These are Kentucky Wonder pole green beans right here. And this is my red Malabar spinach. Um, it's a vining spinach. It's actually like a succulent and you just keep, this one is way up high. But you just keep winding around. This is only three plants and it's like taking over this trellis. Probably a little too much. I, I really could have just done probably one or even two. But this is just, it's just going everywhere. It's really beautiful, healthy, and it tastes really good. You can use it in place of regular spinach in any recipe. So this is my Mongolian giant sunflower. One of them that has opened. And it's about eight feet tall. Not as big as it could have gotten, but I did plant them a little bit late. You can see the bees working on it. Beautiful, very, very pretty bright yellow sunflower. Here's another variety of sunflower I planted, just a small one. And then I have more green beans planted here. And this is actually the seminal pumpkin that you can see working over there. It just started coming out over here. Green melons have been looking really sad lately. Um, they've got riddles with worms, but I've been trying to be active about picking them off the, the best that I can. And I this one here is actually making a comeback. It has about three or four fruits on it now, which is really exciting. Um, there's one here, another one there. And there's also one way down at the bottom. And these are really tasty and they smell amazing. Mongolian giant sunflower that's already flowered and pollinated. I'm going to let the seed head um, mature and then I'm going to give the seeds to my chickens. Alright, so over here on this trellis right here I have my Zucchino Rampicante squash. And it is just taking over. This was four plants, I believe. And it's just picante. It's taken over the trellis. It's falling off the trellis. It's on the ground. It's just huge, super healthy plant. And I've got lots of squash going right now. There's one here. And these are massive. I could go ahead and harvest this. But I'm going to leave it to turn tan and try to use it. Um, like a butternut squash. There's a little one here. Um, these are just very productive plants. Tons of flowers open every day. Lots of female flowers. Here's another one. And there's even one. <laughs> my squash. It's even going in the garden bed, which is fine. But there's even another squash down here. There it is. Look at the little baby. <laughs> that was pollinated just like a day or two ago. 
tons and tons of peppers on it. These are really cool. I'm um, gonna harvest these and they turn red and I'm gonna try to make some hot sauce out of them. And these are doing really great as well. Very, very healthy, happy plant. I have some more zinnias. This is in front of the uh, Zucchino Rampicante. Those, except for this one because it does have fruits on it. This is a yellow pear because, as you can see, they have some kind of disease. But I'm letting this one fruit, I'm gonna eat it, and then I'm gonna get rid of this. This is not going in my compost because it is disease and I don't want it to spread um, back into my garden. In front of it, I have um, two zinnias. This is just two zinnias. They're really big and pretty. There's the purple prince, which has flowers on it, and then this is a red variety. I'm not sure the um, variety because it was mixed in with the purple prints, but there's a couple red flowers and I think it looks really pretty mixed together like that. Here is a, another Mongolian giant sunflower, which um, is not open yet. This is my Thai basil that is flowering, going to seed. It's a spicier basil. And right behind it, I have a Bujolokia or ghost pepper that's really happy and healthy down here. This one hasn't had any flowers on it yet, but it's the biggest one. Um, so I'm assuming it's getting more nitrogen than the other flowers here, or the other peppers here. Okay, so this bed had the lima beans, which I pulled out. They were done producing. My cucumbers, which were not producing. It's getting too hot for them. I really need to get in here and weed. I'm going to try to plant a whole bunch of zinnias here just for pretty and just for you know to look beautiful until I get my fall garden in and just take up the space. Here I have um, a ghost pepper right there. I have parsley growing still underneath this okra. There's this okra which has okra on it. Two of them actually. And this one is the biggest plant I have. Um, this is the earliest okra. It's given me, I've probably pulled four or five off of here now. And there's two on there. So this bed also looks very different. I pulled a ton of stuff out. My Brussels sprouts are gone. My tomatoes are gone. Um, my kale is gone. The lettuce is gone. It's just getting way too hot for that stuff. I pulled my sugar baby watermelons out of the grass and let them cover this space to help with weeds. Um, there's a couple of them over here. And they're doing great still. Here's a couple peppers. This is a sweet Marconi pepper. These will turn red when they're ripe. And then here's my yellow bell plant. I've had quite a few limbs just break off of this. I'm not sure why. So I've lost about five peppers off of it, which I'm pretty upset about. I mean, I'm still going to eat them, but they weren't yellow, so they're not going to be as sweet. But this is just covered. I mean, it's doing really well too, um, beside the fact that it broke. I have a little dish there with that pepper because it's on the ground. I don't want a bug to get it. <laughs> My sweet basil, it's still going. Nice and bushy buds formed at the top. This is my lemon basil. Still doing really well. This is doing better here in the shade than my sweet basil and Thai basil out in the sun. Those are going to seed faster than this. Um, it's just getting really hot here. Um, here's my rosemary, still going strong. My Cuban oregano is just massive. <laughs> I'm gonna start harvesting that and drying it out. Here's another um, Indian blanket flower. My last Indian blanket flower. So thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed my garden tour. It is definitely um, getting really hot here so there's not much that will grow right now. Mostly um, hollow vine squash and pumpkins, cherry tomatoes, malabar spinach, um, hot peppers, okra, sweet potatoes, and zinnias. Everything else is kind of fizzling out. Um, so the next big 
time to start seeds will be in um, September. So um, I hope you keep watching and um, hang out with me and see how I have big plans for my fall garden. So I'm really excited about that. So, so thanks for watching and I hope you guys um, hit the like and subscribe. See you next time.